Hey there, geeks. Adam coming back at you with another edition of Comic Card Crazy, a special edition that is tied into our Patreon-exclusive 90s Super Cinema podcast. Uh, for those of you who don't know, for five bucks a month over on patreon.com forward slash wizards comics, you can get you know, uncut early release episodes. You also get a PDF scan of the issues we're covering and discussing along with lots of other perks. One of those is our 90s Super Cinema podcast where our patrons actually get to vote for what comic book related film they want us to review each month. And last time around uh, that we put up a poll for them, it was Dark Horse movie comics, you know, like The Mask and Time Cop and Tank Girl and all these like that. But what did they settle on? Of course, it had to be Barb Wire from 1996, starring Pamela Anderson Lee. Uh, yeah, so this was based on a Dark Horse comic where they were launching their comic's greatest world universe in the wake of Image Comics. Everybody was trying to do something that was like brand new characters, brand new worlds, and uh, Dark Horse put a lot of effort into it. Unfortunately, it didn't really take off. You know, they had Ghost, uh, which had like an Adam Hughes uh, cover and some art in the early days, and they also had Barb Wire, uh, among many other characters that didn't take off. Barb Barb Wire, just kind of tough as nails. Uh, you know, she was a, a mercenary for hire, kind of, you know, able to be hired uh, out almost like a, a one-woman A-team, if you will. <laughs> but she also owned a bar, and uh, she had a lot of interesting characters that she was tied into uh, in her uh, city that she worked in, Steel Harbor. Uh, so the comic books are actually pretty cool. The ongoing series was written by John Arcudi uh, with some various different artists for different arcs of that series, but uh, I've read them all. There's not that many, uh, but they did, when the movie came out, uh, Wizard, that is, do a Bad Girls special, and wouldn't you know it, Barb Wire made the cover. There's an interview with Pamela Anderson Lee in there. We get into all the details, the behind the scenes, the discussion of this film, like I said, on our 90s Super Cinema this month. But, to tie into that, why not open a couple packs of barbed wire cards, okay? Because Topps was doing this. This was anticipated to be a big movie because Pamela Anderson was a big deal from Baywatch, right? Uh, everybody loved what she was doing over there. <laughs> you know, doing what she do. Plus all her Playboy appearances and everything else. So let's open up these cards. Let's see what they were all about because they actually do uh, have some special features. <laughs> let's, let's get into it. Okay, so here we are with our first pack of barbed wire deluxe trading cards from 1996. Don't call her babe, as it tells us. It's Pamela Anderson. It's interesting. It's Pamela Anderson Lee, like on the video and all those, but on this it was still just Pamela Anderson. I wonder what the deal was there. Uh, but you get eight deluxe trading cards plus one laser cut or embossed card in every pack. I've seen some of these. They are fascinating. Uh, here it is telling us that you can actually get the uh, the barbed wire movie soundtrack on London Records. Plus you can order Dark Horse Comics because that's what they want this to be all about, right? It's a tie-in that you're interested in. Let me just see if there's anything of note here. Nothing really, just a lot of copyright information that says Dark Horse a whole lot. Uh, but let's open up this first pack before we get into the next one. Uh, like I say, these are really high quality cards. If you're getting Topps movie cards in this era, they were going all out. You got a nice foil pack here. So let's see who is inside. Who are we going to meet from Steel Harbor? And if I don't know if there's behind the scenes or what, but... Here we go with uh, Pamela Anderson. She is there with Udo Kier playing Curly, who's kind of her... I, I don't know exactly what his job is. He just kind of like keeps an eye on everything at her bar, the hammerhead. There he is. So, oh, he's a Mater D. I guess that makes sense. Yeah, so there we say uh, that he is the head waiter. He, he is unflappable. But I do like kind of that metal, that sheet metal behind... The whole design of this, then you get barbed wire on her cool motorcycle there. So the design of these cards is really neat. Uh, as it should be, here is more uh, a close-up with... Uh, th this is kind of cool with barbed wire. So one of the things in the movie are these contact lenses where they're always trying to scan you when you want to cr cross the border. And these particular... Uh, 
uh, contact lenses will be able to uh, you know, actually keep you from being identified. And I think what's going on there is that she was actually, in the opening of the film, she's like saving this girl. Anyway, there, there's a lot of stuff, little missions that she goes on. But here we go again. There is Pamela Anderson in the full getup. You'll notice the barbed wire tattoo. And she's got the corset thing going on with those gloves. That's kind of the, the famous look from the movie. Let's see. It says Willis is, and Willis is like the chief of police. Willis's attraction to Barb is obvious and she takes full advantage of it. However, she doesn't let the log arm of the law get too close. After Willis leaves, Barb finds out from Charlie that on top of everything else, Schmitz ripped her off. The word on the street is that Krebs is worth a cool million to the Congressionals. So again, she's kind of a bounty hunter for hire, mercenary for hire, it just depends. This is uh, who she is being asked to turn in if she finds her or actually uh you know work with as part of the resistance against, against this totalitarian regime but it is uh dr cora d and she changed her whole look and got plastic surgery so she could be on the run because she has this antidote to this biological weapon that they want to unleash but it's only in her head and they want to use this machine that can extract it from her head there's a lot going on in this movie, guys. Okay, they they just, they got the assignment. We want Pamela Anderson on almost every card here. This is uh, from the end, uh, when she is pulling a switcheroo with the contact lenses. There's this guy named Big Fatso, who is from the comics. We'll see if we actually get that or not. Uh, but here we, it says here, an unlikely hero, talking about Willis, he slips her a grenade before continuing this pantomime with the others. Barb tosses it straight up in the air, causing her panic captors to run in all directions. And there is a pretty action-packed climax, I will tell you. Yep, so here she is again, getting in on the action on her motorcycle. Pamela Anderson really did give some cool, like tough gal looks, if you want to call it that. Like, she has the look. I don't know if she has. Uh, like the physique to where you believe she could do all that she's doing because she's kind of tiny <laughs> and she beats up a lot of people but still she looks awesome in the leather oh now this is great uh, we're actually getting some cards that have comic book art on here so look at that so this is the barbed wire look from the comics it's more purple teal blue Let's see what this tells us about her. Oh, and, and as you see there, she actually does take on more of a Pamela Anderson look in the comics uh, from this point forward. In the last issue of Barbed Wire, Barb finally puts an end to Ignition, who has been on a murder spree to steal the various strengths and powers uh, of her victims. And so that cover was Matt Haley and Mike Sellers. However, this isn't the end for Barbed Wire, and shown here is some brand new art by her creator, Chris Warner. Yeah, so like I said, uh, she becomes Pamela Anderson in the comics by the end of the series, but I guess that's fine. But yeah, here's some uh, more interpretation of the barbed wire character. Let's see who's the artist on this one. Oh, Esteban Moroto. Okay. So yeah, so that's pretty awesome there. And our last card here is our special embossed card. So check this out. So yes, every curve, as you can see, the hair and uh, other parts of her physique are accented by the embossed nature of the card, which is pretty wild. And then you just get the barbed wire. They know you're not here to look at the back, right? So we got that one. All right. Let's open up our second pack real quick. I'm really enjoying these cards. Look, the movie was not a blockbuster. It was not a hit. They really had plans for it. And it didn't uh, take off uh, in the public consciousness the way they hoped. Uh, but there is still some fun to be had in this film. So let's check this out. All right. So this is, uh, I think, they have this ability. Get this off here. Yeah. Okay. So this, this is the main bad guy here. Colonel Victor Prizer. And basically they can uh, send, you know, electric voltage, they're saying here, to a part of his prisoner's body. And and other ways they can do these uh, these kind of things they attach to your brain and they can see your thoughts is what that is about. So they can like find out if you're guilty or if you have information they want. So there they are at Barb's club and he's there with Willis, like I said, the chief of police, but really Willis is on Barb's side because they have a relationship. Uh, but they're always trying to, you know, finagle uh, these contact lenses from her, even though she doesn't have them for most of the movie. There's 
Barb, uh, in a, yeah, in a dress. <laughs> and Willis, once again. Uh, it should be said that this movie uh, is also partially based on Casablanca, the Humphrey Bogart film. It is an adaptation of sorts, uh, so there's a lot of similar beats. Uh, this, however, is pretty cool. So here is Pamela Anderson in the tub. It's a see-through tub, and she gets into this firefight with her pistols, uh, wearing just the bubbles from the tub. And hey, you recognize that guy, Tamura Morrison? Yep, Boba Fett himself in an early role. So he's a past love interest of Barb who now works for the Resistance, asking for her help. All right, and here she is. I'm surprised we hadn't got a card of him yet, but that dead on the floor there is Charlie, her blind brother, uh, who gets tortured and killed uh, because she wouldn't give the colonel what he wanted. So that's a weird kind of shot there. You sort of see Barb, but you just see Tamara Morrison and Cora D. All right, and again with this showdown. So here they are trying to make a deal with Big Fatso. I do love, like, her bandolier of all those, like, shotgun shells or whatever they are. Yep, and then it was an ambush because the colonel and the police and everybody show up to Buster. Let's look at a little bit more comic book art. Man, I just, I love the barbed wire design. I think the pink and the blue and everything really just pops with the blonde hair. I quit! Let's see what that's about here. So it says... A theme from the comic echoed in the film is Barb's desire to quit the bounty hunting business. And that art was by Dan Lawless, Jeff Albrecht. However, she is so good at it, and it would be a shame to see all that talent go to waste. Thugs like the one shown here can only hope that Barb gets into early retirement. <laughs> so the back art is by Dan Lawless. Okay, so last uh, of the art cards here, there is very much, uh, you know, a Pamela Anderson is Barb Wire illustration. By Walt Simonson. How about that? So that's pretty cool. All right. And our last uh, card here. So this is not quite embossed. Well, I mean, it is, but it, like it's not as... How do I put it? <laughs> it doesn't pop as much as the other one. I guess there's just less to mention in that picture. Oh, that's kind of a cool effect when you see it from behind and get the glare on there. But yeah. So there we go. Let's check out all these cards and decide which is my favorite. Hey, if you ask me, the movie, so-so. Mm, the cards, pretty excellent. Uh, if you were basing your opinion of the movie on the card production, you might be pretty excited. Uh, I just think they deliver because they understood the assignment, as they say, right? You want Pamela Anderson all the time? Okay, it's a lot of pictures of Pamela Anderson in various bits of black leather. I mean, you're seeing the excitement on her face of playing like the you know, kind of this tough as nails uh, hero, if you will, anti-hero. A lot of gunplay in there. Uh, but as far as my favorite card, I think it's got to be this one because it really embodies the spirit of what they were going for. She looks tough. She looks mad. She looks ready for action. I mean, that's pretty awesome right there. Uh, so like I say, if you want to hear our full discussion of Barb Wire, uh, you can go to patreon.com forward slash wizards comics, subscribe for just that five bucks a month. You might get everything you want in just a month. If you want to binge, if you want to go through, but we've been doing it for a while. There's a lot of great exclusive content for you there. Uh, and yes, we are going to be putting up another poll so our patrons can vote on what our next movie will be soon. Uh, but we want to thank you so much uh, for all that you do. Uh, and thank Thank you for checking out the channel. Thank you for subscribing. If you want to spread the word, feel free. If you want to find uh, the rest of what we're doing and stay informed, you can go on over to at Wizards Comics on all the socials. Although on Instagram, it's at Wizards underscore comics, uh, but at Wizards Comics everywhere else. Uh, you can also find us at uh, wizardscomics.com where you'll get over 280 episodes of our podcast whether it's the main episode where we go through every issue of wizard magazine whether it's our half episodes where we get into all the rest <laughs> uh, also we do bonus episodes about the spinoff magazines and specials we have interview with uh, you know we go behind the scenes with former wizard staffers and comic book pros so so much for you to check out and hit that nostalgia button but hey until next time keep your books bagged and boarded Thank you.